Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thrilled to be there with uh, you for the RED virtual conference. This is the eighth edition of the RED since we launched the event in Paris in 2017. And I believe I participated to all the different editions of the RED simply because it brings together all the experts and personalities present to discuss very important questions about data and artificial intelligence regulation. Today we are gathering online. The next get time we get together will be in Brussels in September last year. Edition in Brussels was extremely interesting and I look forward to returning. I would like to greet the great speakers. They are joining from all over the world today. Vice President Vera Jourova and the experts from the European Commission, the Minister and Member of the European Parliament. The representative from international organizations like the United Nations and OECD. I also welcome the presence of many national regulators, including Camilla Bustani and Colin Whippon, with whom we have the pleasure to speak today, as well as representative from the technology industry. The topic of this new RED conference is innovated, regulated, and implemented with courage and caution. Courage and caution is not a contradiction. When you are moving into a new territory, you need to be brave, but also you have to need to be careful. Artificial intelligence is developing rapidly. We discover new possibility, fantastic, amazing possibility, but new venture every day. And we can feel the impact of the digitalization across most of the industries. This will lead to change in all of our lives. By improving our health care with better diagnostics and better disease prevention. The kinetic watch to measure health bits and health problems. That's my heart. And I will make uh, our agriculture more efficient also. It can also strengthen our security and many other applications. But artificial intelligence comes with a number of potential risks. Privacy concerns, loss of jobs, misinformation. Artificial intelligence is not a new opportunity or a danger. Like all technology, its value and impact depend on the use we make of it. It's certain that if we don't use it correctly, it can undermine on our fundamental rights and become a source of crisis, important crisis. It brings a number of risks, misinformation, cybersecurity, threat, disruption of industries and jobs and intellectual property. This is why this is important to think about how to regulate technology in a way that protects us, but also a way that allows innovation and progress. All the governments of the world are working on how to regulate Internet artificial intelligence, and they should. The rapid evolution and development of this technology affects all areas of the economy and social life of their country and the issues are considerable. Because of their technology, we verity with China, we see that the US is imposing increasingly strike rules of semiconductor, for example. But the American political system makes any attempt at regulation difficult. China and the other side is trying to become a world leader in artificial intelligence. I was representing Mr. Macron for the last forum of Belt and Road Forum in November in Beijing. And President Xi said he had eight priorities for this strategy of Belt and Road. And for among these priorities, the main one was artificial intelligence. And he, he said, we have to be leader in this matter but we have to drive also a regulation organization. So they are thinking to the action, but also to the regulation. Chinese rules and regulation are very strict right now, 
but their impact is domestic and aimed towards keeping control and power, the PCC. In recent years, Europe has taken the lead of the Uni United States of China in terms of digital regulation. Thank you to Thierry Breton. I'm thinking about the excellent work that the experts of the European Commission are doing. Data and AI regulation rules imagined by Europe will be pretty strict. This rule will have a fair strong global impact, like when Europe introduced the TRPD, which has since become the global reference in terms of data confidentiality. The other world power will have to comply with the, its rule to continue to have access to the European market, which is a good lever for our economy. We have a double objective. Better protect European citizens, but also increase the confidence in artificial intelligence to stimulate investment and innovation in IE. Digital technology plays an increasingly central role in the life of all of us. We need to be able to trust it. Europe needs to combine its technological and industrial skills with high quality digital infrastructures and regulatory framework based on our values. We could become a leading global player in innovation in the data economy and in its application. Europe will be able to have its own artificial intelligence ecosystem and all of the European societies and economies would benefit from the advantages of this technology. Citizens would have better public services, better healthcare, and a lower cost. Rapid development of AI is a massive opportunity for European business and European societies. The European Union and our national governments need to capitalize on these opportunities. Companies will be able to develop new generation of products and services in industry where Europe is already strong transportation, agriculture, cybersecurity, tourism, so on. France is doing great in developing its digital industry, and we are trying to have a real leadership on this issue. France has a multifaceted approach to encourage the development of its digital industries, combining financial incentive, infrastructure investment, education and training, international cooperation, private equity, and so on, to create a supportive environment for innovation and entrepreneurship. But we need to have this assurance that AI respects our values and the confidentiality of our citizen data. This is why governments need to keep working on this issue and we all need to keep reflecting of this important question. Thank you for uh, this beautiful organization of RED to oblige to, to have a common vision, a common work together for this regulation. Thank you all. I look forward to hearing your opinions in this very important topic. Thanks a lot.